Jen. I have some crochet projects to share with you guys today. Um, I used to crochet years ago and um, just recently have taken up making some smaller projects, um, which I really like because you can kind of do them quickly and it's not too much for my hands. And um, But what I want to share with you guys is um, and I had showed this in another video. Um, this is a book I picked up at Michael's. It was $3.50, which is a really good deal. And if you're just learning to crochet or if you're picking it up again after not having done it for a while, this is an excellent book because it starts from the very beginning and kind of goes over hooks and threads and different types of stitches. Um, and then also has a... Um, the abbreviation list. So um, it was really helpful. And then it has some very simple projects. So I'm going to show you a few that I made. So I took, um, they have a sachet pattern in here, which is right here. And this is just for a little uh, potpourri pouch, you know, to put in your lingerie drawer or whatever, but I took that and made a pin cushion out of it. Um, and the only changes I made to the pattern is I did add an extra row um, so that it would be just a little bit bigger. I do have one made that I have not finished off yet. Um, this is the hole to put the little pouch in. And so this is the size of the one in the book. So it's just a little bit smaller than that one. But if you were going to use it to make a pin cushion, I would definitely recommend just doing one additional row around the outside. So I really love the way that this came out. I used my Tilda fabric on the inside and just made a square little pouch that I filled with some polyester fiber fill and a little bit of scented lavender. Hold this up and do a close-up here and so this crocheted flower on top is actually you keep crocheting you just switch colors behind so that's already all attached um, to the front piece and I just added some seam binding and a couple of my book paper leaves and a little locket charm that I actually put a little message in to the person who's going to receive this and a little bead and then I had um, a couple spools of um, pins that were different colors. So I grabbed out the purple ones and added, to, added them to this. And I did use a little bit of hot glue. I mean, I sewed everything down. Um, the um, seam binding, I, I sewed together. And then before I closed up the pin cushion, because you put the little cushion in and then you crochet around and finish it off. But I did sew this to the crocheting and then I also added a little bit of hot glue to secure everything and also to put the leaves in. So I'm really, really happy with how that came out. And then just a few other things I've been making. Um, some of these doilies and once I start doing this, let me grab a couple of these. I uh, um, there's like patterns on Pinterest and different thing, and I and off the top of my head, I can't even remember exactly where I got all these patterns. Um, some of them, some of these are just like I see a bigger pattern online, and I just do the inside part of it because I just want to make the small doily. But I really, really. I love how these came out and I believe this one is one that I got off of Pinterest so I have a few of those and these are made with um, you know thinner this is a little bit thinner thread this is um, I want to say 20 the 20 weight and these are 10 so this is a little bit thicker thread and most of them are made with like a size 5 needle and then these are little flowers that are just like this center flower. I just used the pattern from the very center and made these different flowers. And then I, these are some that I just made off the top of my head um, 
which make really cute little um, uh, doilies when you're making handmade flowers. And then this was just a trim I was playing with. Um, you, know, you could stretch it out and it would be a little bit more ruffly. Or you can use it as like, I was just practicing. You could make a, I was thinking this would be really pretty if you made the whole, if you made a whole circle and then put a, a image on the inside on a card or something. And then as far as this book goes, I did make this doily coaster on the back, but I didn't use the same size needle. So mine came out a little bit different. And, oh, one other thing I wanted to share. Let me see if I can, let me just grab a darker piece of paper. Maybe this will show it better. There we go. Um, first of all, there's two different types of cotton crochet thread. One that is very soft and pliable, like this is. And that's used for, um, you can use either for any project, but a lot of times, um, this type is used for um, like washcloths and stuff because it's more absorbent and then the other type is um, it's treated and it's a little bit stiffer and um, you know it just depends on the look that you're going for I do like working with the stiffer thread a little bit more and I'm trying to remember the word um, that's on the Actually, I have one right here. Focus, there we go. So if it says 100% um, mercerized cotton, then that has been treated and that's going to be a little bit stiffer. Um, it's not as absorbent, I guess, although it is more absorbent for dyes. I was just, um, if you pull it up online, you can read about the different types. But most of the cotton thread that I've seen in the store is the mercerized cotton. So this is unmercerized, why, which is why it is so pliable. So I am going to, um, I have not yet, you know, you can do a starch type bath for these, which I am going to do, and um, stiffen it up and spread it out a little bit. But because I also used a different size needle, I used a smaller needle than what they recommended. It, you know, I ended up with these little ruffles um, but I do like the way that this came out. It was super um, simple. I shouldn't say super simple. I'm much better at watching somebody crochet and picking it up than reading directions like this. But I was able to work my way through it and it wasn't too, too difficult. So, and that's my little doily. So, I just wanted to share those projects with you because I'm sending this one off to someone today. And um, if anyone has any questions, let me know, but I highly recommend um, this book for the little projects it has in it, and um, just as a refresher or beginner book for anybody who wants to start learning how to crochet. And of course, there's tons of videos on YouTube for beginners. So you guys have a super great day. Bye-bye.